Hello, I'm Tom Chavez, Chief of the Operations Section, Systems Engineering Branch, Data Sciences Division, here at White Sands Missile Range, also known as WISMER. From the late 1940s, starting with the V-2 rocket, continuing on through today's time with the more modern system, the MLRS, the common thread between all these missile systems has been telemetry. Today we're going to discuss how telemetry data is processed here at WISMER in the Range Control Center. In testing any missile system, we have to answer the basic questions, also known as the five W's. Who, what, when, where, and why. Who? Who could be Army? Navy, Air Force, or some other user such as NASA. But what is the system surface to surface? Surface to air. Air to air. Or high altitude data gathering. Where would, of course, be White Sands Missile Range? When? When is another simple answer. Whenever the user requires. These four questions can be answered, for the most part, by your eyes. However, in order to answer the fifth and perhaps most important W, why, we need telemetry. Telemetry is a method of sending measurements made internal to a system being tested to a remote site for processing. With these measurements, we can then answer why. For example, why didn't this test work properly? In the early days of WISMER, simple measurements such as roll rates, temperatures, and vibration were telemetered using frequency modulation, or FM. This technique worked well, but gave a limited amount of information. As missiles became more advanced and the need for more measurements grew, pulse amplitude modulation, or PAM, was used. While PAM did increase the number of measurements that could be made, it quickly became limited in its application. The rapid growth in electronics, which put more capability into smaller and smaller packages, created highly complex systems and pushed the requirements for even more measurements. Today, the majority of systems being tested use pulse code modulation, more commonly known as PCM, for meeting their telemetry needs. Whenever FM PAM and PCM data enters the telemetry data center, it is recorded on analog tape. Timing and voice are also recorded, resulting in a complete storage of all information concerning the remote measurement. Data is then routed to the appropriate equipment where individual measurements are separated out from the group of data being transmitted. These individual measurements are sent to the multiplexer preprocessor where they can be processed and sent to various display units. The most popular type of display unit is the strip chart recorder. Typically, data is at a nominal value until a critical event occurs. Far from being a jumbled maze of meaningless lines, data such as this will be used to make the go-no-go no go decisions on launching a missile. Graphical displays are also popular. With a single glance, System performance can be readily analyzed by a color, gauge, or line graph. Computer processing is used extensively. Data can be written to disk, magnetic tape, and high-speed printers. When a test is completed, the data collected is turned over to the user in the form of analog tape, strip charts, graphic hard copy, digital tape, and printouts. 
Through the use of telemetry data and the real-time processing done in the telemetry data center, we can go from the assurance of a successful test in a controlled environment to the confidence of a system performance in life-threatening attacks.